starting here. Okay, I've decided, guys, today to show you a real Moldovan household. Yay! With every single detail that I might find today, every single traditional stuff that you might find in a Moldovan household. So, just let's go. Follow me. By the way, do you love our um, um, roads? Cerna? <laughs> Look, it's it's like walking on the moon. Look, it's moon walk. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> One. One small step for a man and a big step for mankind. Walking from Moldova. There's a lot of Cerne. Uh, Latara. Latara, that's how we call it uh, in the countryside. So I'm going to show you, by the way, my granny's house. You know who is the first host? That is welcoming you when you come into a Moldovan household. Follow me to see. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. This is Zoe, the dog. Every Moldovan household that respects itself has a dog at the entrance. Hi, Zoe. Why are you so sad? Fuck off. Okay, guys. Let's start with the most important part of a Moldovan household. This is Vigil. I mean, the cellar well, the, where the good wine is. Let's go. This is like the first layer of a bed. By the way, this is a very old one because, uh, as my granny says, it's like from the Second World War time, so it's a really old one. Um, this is the first layer where the, all the pickles are, um, a lot of cans, canned meat, compote from raspberries, strawberries, a lot of yummy things that my granny has in here. In the second layer, we have the proper bechul uh, with, of course, the barrels with uh, white wine and the red wine and a little bit of wine, uh, white wine as well as my uh, uncle said, told me. And um, as I said, this is a very old bitch, as you can see. The shape of it is really old, and if you can just film a little bit the the roof of it. How can I just leave the bitch without tasting something? Mm. Bye, you can switch it off. Bye. I think it's 33 degrees outside and I'm in front of the spire. It's really hot right here. But it's one of the places from the Moldovan household called Kotlon. I don't know how to translate it. Do you want to know what's inside? Huh? No, it's a hot sauce. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> Hello guys! Hi! <laughs> I think it's a discrimination here. There are more, there are more guys than girls. Ooh, this is supposed to be the place where you cook fresh bread. Pierge, guys, these are called Pierge cabbage. This is gonna be ready uh, in the fall season. If we speak about the important things of a modern household, of course, the garden I think is on the second place after that. Of course, I'm gonna show you the garden. As you see, there is a door that goes to the garden, Ta -da 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 -da. even though there is a, enough space to go through here. Um, yeah, by the way, this is my granny. I love you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Uh, uh, okay, so this is the garden. There is a huge garden, I would say, that my granny is really lucky with this. Um, of course, there is a lot of vineyard. There is some corn behind this vineyard. And there is a lot of fruit trees in this uh, garden. But there is a detail about Moldova and Moldovan gardens uh, in the villages that the toilet, the loo or vecheu, call it as you want, of course is located in the garden, as you can see, is right over here. So, uh, nice conditions 
if we speak about the details from inside, I mean from a Moldovan house, traditional house, then we speak about Lezhanka. This is Lezhanka, guys. This is like a bedroom, that, but it's the construction of it, it's a little bit specific. So if you're gonna follow me, I'm gonna, we're gonna show you. So this is Lezhanka. Ta -da! Yeah, this is like when it's winter, this wall here gets really hot and it's really warm and cozy inside and you have a view here and it's like i don't know it's i i became really melancholy because it's all about my childhood here oh. beside this wall that gets warm also everything that's uh underneath uh, me is also getting warm so that's why lerjanka it's like a little oven during the winter that gets really cozy and warm I want to show you this table over here. Zama. Yeah. Moldovan Zama. With plecinte made by my sweet auntie. And kiper. Kiper yute yute. Very spicy. So, guys, a good harvest needs uh, or deserves a good work for that. So, I was thinking, why not hoeing today? So, what I'm going to do now, I've chosen the sunflower, by the way. Fashion, fashion guys, kalosh, that's the right, the proper shoes when it gets rainy in Moldova. And believe me, you need this. <laughs> tomatoes, organic tomatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi ladies, I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry that in about an hour you're gonna be in the oven. Yeah, I know right? It's a very tough life, isn't it? This one doesn't really seem to care a lot. I'll see you the next time. Bye!